Hi folks, Ron, field agronomist with Pioneer, doing some early season evaluation of our plant stands. If you look at this plant, this field right here, this row, we took and measured off of one one thousandth of an acre, which on 30 inch rows is 17 and a half feet. We went down through here and did a little bit of evaluation. A couple of things, some key things you want to point out or look for. For example, what is your consistency row or down the row as you go down with plant spacing? Notice right here, we had a little issue with the planter. We're about six inches, we're about four inches, then we jump back up to about six inches again, all the way up to closer to 10. So a little bit of inconsistency. Something we wanna watch out for, maybe we had an issue with a plate and a planter or something like that. So good time to evaluate that. Another thing we wanna look for is on down the row, are there any other issues or things of concern? Here's an example right here, we've got a set of doubles. As I count plant stands here, I normally count that as a single plant rather than two. You'll have two smaller ears on each one of those plants as opposed to a normal size ear. So I normally count that as one plant when evaluating plant stands. On down the row a little bit further, one of the things that you'll notice that we tend to see many times during the season in Central Texas is if we get started when it's a little bit too wet, it's difficult to close that slice. And you'll notice here, we've had some issues closing the slice. And as the ground dries out, this will tend to crack open. Sometimes you can also see late emerging plants due to lack of soil to seed contact and the amount of air that's down inside that slice. These are some key things that can take away from overall yield. Your ideal situation is very uniform emergence very uniform distance plant to plant and the exact population that fits the fertility and environment you're growing in. This particular situation, we're at about 25 to 26,000, which is fantastic. Improve the plant spacing a little bit, take care of that road closure, and we got optimum yield. Thank you for your business, hope this helps. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.